somebody out there has got to document this obscure crap. So this video has a very, very narrow audience I'm shooting for. But the, every time I make a video like this, pulls people out of the, the woodwork and say, oh, I remember that. That's the videos I like making like this. So let's roll with it. All right, I was out toy hunting. Um, I found two figures I completely forgot about that I had when I was uh, during childhood. And I was like, I remember those. Your toy collection wasn't always uh, the memorable stuff. It wasn't always like Snake Eyes. It wasn't always Cobra Commander. It wasn't always uh, Megatron and Optimus Prime and all the popular stuff that you remember or your LJ and Hulk Hogan. No, there was some other stuff that kind of Grandma got you, you forgot about, and knockoff figures, stuff like that. So here's two of them. I'm going to start off with this guy. Looks like a green Smurf. I came across this, actually, I was buying a Smurf on eBay. I like Smurfs, whatever. Uh, actually, I rebought the first Smurf I ever had. I found him, and the seller also had one of these guys, and when I was searching like the, the rest of his stuff in a store. This thing, I, it's not a Snork. It's not a Smurf. Apparently it's called Astro Snick. Or Snicks, uh, made by a company called Bullyland, who was the original manufacturer of Smurf figures in the 60s and 70s, if I'm telling the story correctly. So they lost the license. I guess they, they're pulling up any license they could find, and this is close enough to a Smurf. And it's about, he's slightly bigger than him. A little bit the same size, but you know, you figure kids are out there. What's it? I'll have a green Smurf that looks like an alien. Um, this is a, there's a variant of this. This is why this isn't my original one from my childhood. This one I got, I don't know, I think I paid like eight bucks for them on eBay. Uh, these came in Happy Meals in the early 80s. I think it said uh, from my research 1984. Um, but I don't remember eating Happy Meals back in the day. I always got the same thing. The same thing I still get to this day. I get, like, probably at that time I was only eating, like, one or two hamburgers. Now I'll get, like, three or four and uh, a Coke. But there was a variant with, uh, came with a red belt and a little McDonald's logo. And they packed these guys into Happy Meals. And I saw that, like, I had that. Figure I totally forgot about. I was like... Gave me a nostalgic electricity going on in my brain. So I bought it and I got it. I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. So I got this. I had to do a little bit of research, stuff like that. That's the fun part. It's toy hunting. It's, you know, what was the story behind this? Where did they come from? I just remember this being in the big box of old Smurf figures that I had, along with some other, like, knockoff stuff like that. Like, I remember I had, like, a Snoopy that big. I think I had, like, a Mickey Mouse also. Inspector Gadget, he was, he popped up. I had a whole bunch, little PVC figures were big back in the day. I still gotta get me a Super Mario one. And then, here's this guy. Uh, a bendable wrestling figure. Or, I, I supposed he was, a, uh, this was a wrestling figure, because I vaguely remember this, and there was a guy who looked like, uh, like an army, uh, army, Sergeant or something like that. I'll, 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 cut, I'll cut to a picture in there. Boom. All right, now that we're back. Uh, yeah, this looks like just a Mad Max type dude, and he's a bendable figure. He's a knockoff of LJN Bendy's. I mean, they could have got the scale a little bit better. This guy's, what was it called? It was IWA star-studded wrestling figures. And this guy was... Pull up the picture. Hold on. All right, he was the Iron Barbarian, and I I remember using him and the other guy, Major Disaster, as uh, as jobbers for my 
my LJN dudes, and probably got his ass kicked by some GI Joes too. But I saw that I, it was in a, a bin, this uh, retro toy store I go to, and just all the the grab bag of garbage that they had. And I saw that I was like, when I put it down, I, was like, I remember that. What did did I have that? I did have that. I couldn't not leave without it. So it was only a couple of bucks too. So, I don't know, if he was like $20, I wouldn't have bought him, but he was only like, I think, $3? Of course you gotta have him. So, got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got Astro Snick, I got Iron Barbarian, and I got a whole cat on. Look at this, this is pretty sweet. I got this wild back. Here's a little tip. If you buy stuff like this and you don't know what it is or where it came from, always look in their feet. There's always some information there. Then you, you Google that and, you know... You'll find some information on this. This, I, he's got no info on him at all. All I did was uh, knock off wrestling figures, bendy, and I came up with a collection. That was, it was that simple. Uh, one I could never find. I even made a video about it. Nobody even replied to it, and I'll, I'll show you that figure. Like, what are these? I assume they were some sort of Shogun Warriors, but... Anything I looked up on Shogun Warriors, these did not come up. These are some sort of knockoffs or something. They like die cast feet, stuff like that. I remember getting them in an Ames, uh, the department store in the 80s. They didn't even come in like a package. They just came together in like a Ziploc bag together and they were sold in like the clearance bin or something like that. So I never, I can't, all my research, I found nothing. So. People have helped me out in some other videos before toys I couldn't figure out, but those those are still a mystery. So, speaking of Smurfs, speaking of stuff I'm doing, here's a custom. It's taken a while. I've been working on this for weeks and weeks and weeks. I do a little bit. I let them sit for for days on end because I don't have that whole much free time. Uh, pretty good. Get more detail. If, I, if it takes me like two years to get something this good. I will do that. I will spend the time to make this perfect sculpt. I want him to look like it came from the same sculptor as this. And I will do that as a challenge to myself. So I'm not going to make like a making of video. It's just going to be done. I'll have a video of it then because I'm also working on mold making too. Here is my Mel Apple uh, brand uh, Weird Ball. Figures a knockoff. I did a video on him. He's a knockoff of both muscle figures and uh, what was the name of that? Uh, Mad Balls. They also he was all they had a whole football shape like him. Here's my mold making. Not perfect. I got some air bubbles in his hand and on his foot right there. But look at that. That came out pretty good. I mean, in order to do it perfect, you need like some sort of compressor, and I don't have the money for something like that or the time or the the know-how in order to work something for a small little hobby like this. Look, this one, this is an earlier one. This one came out like garbage. But I'm manufacturing my own toys. Oh, and then I'm going to make him. It's going to be perfect just like that. So that's, I just want to do a quick little video. Do your research because when you find stuff like this, boom. Blows your mind. This video, very small, very small, uh, window of with people out there but when they they do find a video like this i was the one guy who made the video for them so boom there you go uh other videos i got coming up I'm gonna do roger waters worst the best albums and i'm probably gonna do the avengers movies all the marvel universe movies worst the best why not we got a big delay in uh black widow again so uh, I was hoping to make it more timely when the movie came out. The movie ain't coming out. We're going to wait till like next year. So, boom and a boom.